We are now learning more about the funeral and memorial services later this week for boxing legend Muhammad Ali. A Muslim janaza will be held Thursday at Freedom Hall in Louisville, Kentucky. The location of the traditional Muslim funeral service was chosen for two reasons. The venue seats 18,000 and is, in, is where Ali fought and won his first professional fight in 1960. On Friday, a star-studded interfaith memorial will be held at the KFC Yum Center in Louisville. Uh, everything that we're doing here was blessed by Muhammad Ali and was requested. So, you know, he wanted the memorial service to reflect his life and how he lived. And the fact that, you know, he wanted everyone to be able to attend. He wanted, he was the people's champ. And so he wanted that memorial service to reflect that. Event organizers say it was important to Ali to have a variety of religions represented at the service. Community and veterans gathered today to remember the service and sacrifice of World War II veterans on the 72nd D-Day anniversary. The commemoration ceremony took place at the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. The there was a public wreath laying ceremony to commemorate those who died. There were also speakers who spoke about what took place on D-Day, making a point to keep veterans alive in the hearts and minds of everyone. D-Day was the beginning of the end of World War II. In today's consumer news, Hostess is recalling over 700,000 cases of certain snack cakes and donuts out of concern for people with severe peanut allergies. Zingers, Ding Dongs and other snack cakes are being recalled because the items were made with flour that could contain undeclared peanut residue. Now the amount of peanut exposure is considered low enough that it wouldn't cause a reaction for most people with the allergy, but those with a severe sensitivity to peanuts could be at risk for a serious or life-threatening reaction. You can find a complete list of recalled products on valleynewslive.com. Just click on the hot button. And two types of a popular energy bar join the growing list of products recalled on Listeria Concerns. The company Cliff Bar Nutritional Food Bars says some Cliff Bar trail mix and energy bars contain potentially contaminated sunflower, sunflower kernels. At least 39 separate recalls have been announced since May 3rd by companies that use sunflower kernels supplied by SunOpta, a Minnesota-based company. SunOpta says no illnesses have been linked to the potentially contaminated sunflower kernels. And still ahead, the battle.